And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Kindred. So I wanted to play another Zillion deck and I'm going to pair Zillion with Shadow Isles because Shadow Isles has a lot of card draw because, you know, you want to be able to find these time bombs that you put into your deck. And also, if we're playing a deck with Shadow Isles and a bunch of card draw and we're playing a Zillion control deck, might as well throw Go Hearts in there as well. So we're going to be playing Go Hard with Zillion and lots of card draw. So we're going to have Glimpse Beyond, um, of course... Uh, Sharima gives us Preservarium, and then we also have Spirit Leech for more card draw. And so then we're also going to be playing Kindred, because um, our uh, Time Bombs and Go Hards should be able to slay small units, and we need to be able to slay large units, and hopefully Kindred can do that. Like, you know, hopefully we can slay the smaller things, and even though it marks the weakest thing, hopefully, you know, like that weakest thing could be something that's kind of big, and Kindred kills that. To be honest, this deck may just be better by just playing Nasus instead of Kindred, but we see all sorts of Nasus everywhere already. We know Nasus is great. And I like experimenting. So let's try out Kindred instead. But as we play these games, that's something that we can be thinking about whenever we have our Kindreds. What is would Nasus be better right now than Kindred? So yeah, the kind of kind of the goal of the deck is just to kind of uh, play a bunch of like small things, right? So we're gonna have hapless aristocrats and fading icons and Vile Feast will make spiderlings, so a bunch of small things that uh, we are able to be able to kill with, uh, you know, slay our own things with Glimpse Beyond and Spirit Leech to be able to draw some cards, you know, to draw into Time Bombs and Go Hards. Ancient Preparation with the Predict will be able to help us find either a Go Hard or a Time Bomb, hopefully. Whichever one we need, the Predict should be pretty good. Merciless Hunter, of course, as we've seen, is just way too good not to play. And uh, then we're going to try a couple of the boxes for all these Sand Soldiers and, and Blade Dancers and things like that. Uh, to be able to do a bunch of damage. The one thing I'm kind of worried about with this deck is uh, opposing Nasus, like cards that are really, really big. Um, you know, we're going to have to like, we have two Vengeance for those, but then also we'll have to kind of team up with like adding the box plus like Merciless Hunter plus Black Spear plus, you know, things like that for things with a ton of health. And then obviously like go hards and uh, pack your bags and things like that. But Let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're gonna play some Zillion Kindred. Also, if we have, if we do get leveled up Zillion, and then you keep, you create the the um, the fleeting copy of the non-fleeting card, that could be awesome with Go Hard, right? Because like you have that you're leveled up Zillion, then you get to play Go Hard. Then the next round start, you create another Go Hard in hand, which puts more Go Hards back into your deck. So that could be pretty cool with Go Hard. All right, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's play some Zillion Kindred. Kindred. We'll go play five games in ranked. All right, Thresh Nasus. So like I said, I'm worried about the Nasus part of this deck. Well, Mulligan the Ride of Negation to start with, even though that's obviously a very good card against Atrocity, but that's not for a long time. So we're going to have a decent amount of card draw in here, or at least we should. So maybe we could find something for that. And we're going to start with Zillion to get the Time Bombs in as soon as possible. I think we're going to skip. Glimpse Beyond isn't bad, though. Glimpse Beyond's not bad. Because, like, next round I play Fading Icon, then I save the two mana for Glimpse Beyond. And the following round, Spirit Leech. I'll take Glimpse Beyond. Opponent's at 19. I bet they're pretty scared. They're almost dead. 19. She's just, claws. Just a moment. Are they trying to turn on Black Spear? Oh, well, I'm, I'm happy that we get the slay. They don't. Go ahead and use this. Draw R2. Again, keep them from getting a slay. Alright, not bad cards. Box can be great against Blighted Caretaker. Alright, 
found our first time bomb. So we got plenty of cards. We're hopefully going to have enough mana to play all the cards that we have. Ugh. Unfortunately, the box... See, this is what I'm kind of worried about. is like large things. Six health. But man, I was hoping the spirit... You know, like they would challenge Spirit Leech. And then we could box and kill. Basically, just gonna be leveled up now. <laughs> Five out of six. They don't have black spear. I was here once, just as you are now. What's that, Ram? Seriously? Forgotten, <laughs> Why does my five drop die to black spear? Their five drop has six health. This game went as poorly as it could. The leveled up, you know, having the, the, the turn five thrash, me having like, you know, no go hards and couldn't find time bomb either. Certainly worried about more, more Nasus's. Their hand, yeah, their hand wasn't like necessarily that great. It was, it was the turn five thrash, right? Like that, that card that I just couldn't uh, handle. What's up, Ahmed? Welcome back. Welcome back. Betrayal bears Shrima. Hope revived it. Man, we just draw a bunch of nonsense. All right, so our uh, second sub of the day. Maybe be playing all three vengeance. The wheel never stops turning.
I guess I just need more ways to kill Thresh and Nasus. Or, you know, a lot better Go Hard Hand. Because these things, you know, like the Box, Black Spear, these things don't do it. I also, like, they're, they're keeping their mana up for Atrocity as well. Oh yeah, the Zoe Shivana deck's very competitive. I that's I built that one to for a rank up deck. That's yeah, that's why it was like it's like old cards, not not necessarily like these other ones trying out new stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's a very good rank up deck. I wanted to show for you know people who were saying that Aurelia Azir is too strong and stuff like that. I wanted to build a, a deck and like Thresh Nasus. So I wanted I put together a deck that's good against uh, these decks. Uh, but back to back to trying out fun new stuff. I can't. I mean, they're going to be able to attack with this and get another Nasus in play anyway. Over. Okay. Own one. Okay. Alright, playing against something different. Zoe Vi. These all look good. Don't want to give them the super cool star chart. Alright, so they get the super cool star chart, which is the bad news. The good news is just have like some daring poros that aren't any good. They discarded another poro cannon. The good news is they, they don't really they don't have too many more cards right now, but of course Targon can change that. Humanity is obsolete. I sure are. Time bombs. No time bombs. Let's go take another Zillion. Now, when am I? Maybe the Zillion can die and we can make even more time bombs. Dogs just scratching the chair. Stop. The thing is, like, I want them to kill Zillion, but I don't want their Vi to level up. So I'm at a conundrum. Time bombs? Time is white. Like a watch. We were peaceful once. That's right. 
So I didn't choose Kindred because they have like the little one ones. Tilt over enforcer on the scene. And of course they have the card that punishes me for not uh, for let for allowing their Vi to level up, sorry. Not keeping their vibe from leveling up. Oh dear. This has gone as bad as it could. <laughs> we just we can't find a time bomb ever. They would just kill these little things and make a lot of my other cards a lot better. This is just a big mess. It's a big mess. Now they get a good Celestial. If it's an elusive Celestial, we're kind of dead. I guess I should have take I should take Glimpse Beyond. I guess I think there was a time I could have taken Glimpse Beyond. I, I needed to take that. It's so like they attack with Vi, and then I I sacrifice. There you go. Yeah, it's just as bad. I certainly messed this game up, right? Like, there's there's no reason with the cards that we had that I should be in this bad of a position. With all like the, with all the predicts that we had and, and stuff like that, like there's there's definitely different choices that I could have made that would have put me in a better position with the predicts. Like choosing like choosing that second zillion that that really didn't pay off. We drew a third one. That was a bad decision. Uh, not killing the Vi. They played another Vi immediately after, so that they had the leveled up Vi. That was a bad decision. This is still lethal, right? Yeah, we're taking we're taking exact lethal. Cause, Cause this doesn't save me. Yeah, like we take exact lethal, because I vile feast, we still we still die. That's not what I remember happening. Which is was a bad decision or bad outcome? Yeah, it was I guess a little bit of both, right? It was the decisions I made led to the outcomes, but like you know, they could have had different cards where like the outcomes could have been better, right? It's when you're like we're playing a reactive deck like this that that sometimes like like that's going to happen. Um, hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? Like I wish I could go back and, and change all of it, but um, yeah, that was. The outcome was as bad as, as possible <laughs> for the decisions I made. That's just how that's how it is sometimes. So I'm keeping the box because it does kill both of these champions as soon as they play them. to allow them to create more of these ignitions. That's pretty nice though, having double ballistic bot for this matchup, especially for what my hand looks like. Because um, now like I use that, I don't get to use it on the champions. And yeah, things are not lining up for us, <laughs> that's for sure. Things are not lining up for us. Don't blink, or you'll miss me. Artist 
Gonna make a meal of them. Merciless Hunter has always been amazing. We'll get our licks Should in. probably have Sand Spinner in this deck also, I guess. So that was I decided to play the box over Sand Spinner. We're gonna win a, a late game. It's just, you know, do they kill us before we would get to a late game? That's gonna be the question. But we're gonna win a late game. Now, then, or soon. I'm gonna take Gohard number two. Right, because it's they're doing all this damage to us, and if they have a Captain Farron, can they finish us out? Um, it kind of depends on the matchup for Ruinous Path. I don't know. I don't know if he can... Yeah, I guess it, it kind of depends. I don't know if Ruinous Path's better than any of the other card draw that we have. I know it can help you stay alive, but as far as, like, helping you stay alive, I think I'd rather have Doom Beast. I like all three of these cards. This is a good predict. I've learned that this is a very difficult deck to play, but I probably just need probably just need Nasus in here instead of Kindred. Honestly, Nasus is just going to be so much bigger. We've seen like our Kindred die to Black Spear already, and Kindred has not been living up to what we need from it. Probably just has to be Nasus. Nasus helps us oh, okay. defeat other big units by having a big unit. I don't know. So I'm taking this. Don't really mind that thing dying. I guess I could use Glimpse Beyond on it the, right there. Yeah, that was a good opportunity for Glimpse Beyond. So we're doing pretty good. They, ooh, not Farin. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Use this last turn. That's all good. A two six. Two six is big. We're getting another two two. This, the beginning of the next round with the ancient preparations. But here we go. This is <clears throat> our deck's working out a lot better this this game. We started finding um, go hards for the first time. Actually, slaying a unit this round. I 
I guess I am. No, 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 no. We're gonna kill an ally. There we go. Kill an ally. Pack your bags to finish it up. Oh, I was hoping he was going to say, I'll end this. <laughs> that would have been nice. Alright, one and two. There we go. Let's turn it around. Alright, let's see how we do in this matchup. Alright, Spirit Leech gone, but I like the rest. Cool. Gotta go hard. Good. Um, I'm gonna pass. Operations. Dang, this box is gonna be pretty good. Find a zillion. Um, I don't want that spell mana, honestly. I'll wait for the card draw till after we put two more go hards back in, and after we put time bombs in. Seems just like a good use for Go Hard. I know I have the box, but that doesn't mean that I have to play the box this round. My name will echo through the ages. <laughs> I don't know, it's seven mana to kill an Azir. Not really. The KPI is depending on me. The box? No. Alright, I guess I should have kept the vengeance. Yeah, I guess I should have kept the vengeance. My biggest mistake this game was keeping the Preservarium, I think, in the mulligan. I, I should not have kept that card. I should have mulliganed that away. I was feared once, just as you are now. What's that, Ram? Something soon forgotten, dear wolf. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Nothing lives forever. We are the worst. <clears throat> Sorry, we are the worst at finding time at finding time bombs. I'll take it from here. We are the worst at that. Walk softly, strike quickly. What now?
for what you have seen today. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Um. Should I play Preservarium over the O1? I don't know, maybe not. I don't know, obviously the O1 gives me a good Sand Soldier block, which we're gonna need a lot of Sand Soldier blocks. Probably be able to spend this mana anyway. Yeah, that Green Glade Duo can actually just kill me right here. Two Green Glade Duos kill me. Yeah, this is sad. I... I don't know. Everything's going wrong. And... Again, I don't... It's just, any decision I'm making is just not paying out. You know, I, the... Like, using the box when I did, right? Like, that, that decision, like, completely backfired. I need to save the box, obviously, for later. Um, I need to either mulligan the Preservarium or play it. Um, look for some card draw. Or, like, you know, try to find another go hard. I don't... Nothing I'm doing is working out. Yeah, I needed to save that box. Been huge against duos for sure. So we have lots of card draw this game. Our opponent is playing Shivana Aurelian Soul. Aurelian Soul sounds like a really difficult card for us to match up against. I'm going to keep all three spell mana for Black Spear. Rand Danny, glad to have you back. I have had some terrible luck, so very glad to have you back. Every decision I've I've made, my opponents have really been punishing me for it. We have finally found a time bomb. Now, Off a zillion, finally. Another time bomb. Okay, no single combat. We have some potential here. To level up Zillion, I have Ride of Negation that could protect. Okay. 
Okay, seems like we don't really need that. So this is round start. I hope they don't have single combat because they didn't use the last last little bit. Wow, this could be a big win. Okay. Kindred's coming through. Now they can still have this Aurelian Soul, and you know Aurelian Soul messes everything up. But that's a that's a big win. Getting rid of that. Alright, so they do have a really in soul. Hello, Room Terra. Let's rock. Unfortunately I'm just gonna mark this eclipse dragon. Yeah, oh yeah, I wasn't gonna take all. I wasn't gonna take all the damage. I was I was considering like maybe trying to like block and black spear and kill the eclipse dragon and level up the kindred this round. Hush. Okay. So it stays marked but doesn't die. Do I have to kill Zillion? And then mark Aurelian Soul? Does that... Yeah, it does say kill units, plural, with my mark. Yeah, I could do Spirit Journey. I just... I want to keep up right in negation. kind of want to draw this card from Time Bomb, see if we draw a one or a two mana unit. Yeah, I could Black Rose Zillion. And then just keep up right, and then just get rid of all these. I'm just going to Time Bomb. Oh, that's already marked? It doesn't mark another one? Oh, well then that's definitely not worth it. Well, I guess it'd be worth it for Black Spear. Maybe I should have done for Black Spear. It's hard, it's fast. The pulse fades away. <laughs> On to the next. So they do get another celestial card for the Aurelian Soul. Valfies is what we needed last turn. So we could have had something to slay on our own side. Alright, so now Kindred's start gonna start getting the plus two plus two each time we slay something. Oh I'm 
Sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. Wait, this is bad. Yeah, I, could, I couldn't do that. That was that was a really bad play. I couldn't do that. Oh, I messed this up. Okay, actually, okay, so end round, it'll mark. Okay, so I, I have to take this. Okay. as well, so I'd hoped. Alright, that'll do though. Cool. They got greedy, they didn't block the kindred. Just as I Alright, so there we go. That was Zillion Kindred. Um, difficult deck to play. I think it has a lot of potential. I think that um, some of those games that we ended up losing were games that like we had the tool, like probably like two out of those three games that we lost, we probably had the tools to win um, if I would have made different decisions and everything. But it's, you know, it's this is a difficult game, right? And playing a deck like this is not easy. It's a game that, or sorry, it's like a deck that you'd probably want, you know, some more practice rounds with, uh, get a better feel for it and everything like that. Um, but I think that there is a, a good amount of potential here with all the card draw and time bombs and zillions. Um, but it's not an easy one. Now, how do we deal with like the, the larger units? That's still kind of a question. Um, Merciless Hunter was amazing. And we saw that with like some of the games that we were winning. We were drawing Merciless Hunter. That was a big part of that. Um, you know, even that last game, taking out a Shivana and everything. Um, I could definitely see playing Sand Spinner. You know, maybe we, maybe we got to get Sand Spinner in here. Uh, maybe play that instead of Black Spear. Um, Black Spear underperformed from what I was hoping for it to do. I think I'd probably, you know, maybe get Sand Spinners in here, but then, um, you know, like Spirit Leech is maybe Spirit Leech has to be a two of, because uh, then if you play Sand Spinner and Spirit Leech, like we have like so many four cost cards that can be kind of rough. Or maybe Vengeance just has to be a three of. Yeah, I don't, I don't have Vengeance or Ruination and that could just be the mistake. Maybe instead of Black Spirit, it needs to just be three Vengeance, like one Ruination to be able to have like a, a reset button with the Ruination and, um, and then you know just have a third vengeance i could definitely see that 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 would um you know i could i could definitely see that i don't, I don't know ruination's really really expensive though uh, especially these days like i you know i really azir is really aggressive so i don't know maybe it's supposed to be that maybe it's supposed to be sand spinners um the list the list isn't perfect but i like a lot of the stuff that is uh that we got going on could be, you know, if you're expecting lots and lots of Azir, you know, could be Withering Whales instead. But, uh, yeah, so just kind of figuring out exactly what interaction you need is, you know, going to be necessary. Um, we talked about, like, so that last game really showed the power of Kindred, right? Like, my opponent wasn't able to kill Kindred that last game, and they, they never had single combat. And so Kindred was just eating dragons, right? We ate, you know, two different dragons and a big celestial, right? Like we were eating a bunch of stuff with Kindred. But I think maybe over the long haul, especially playing against like these Aurelia decks, maybe the, the deck should honestly just be Zillion Nasus because each time that we slay stuff, which we slay a lot of things, slay our own stuff, slay our opponent's stuff, this thing keeps growing and now you're playing your own 8-8 and 10-10 and that's like a, a way to deal with their 8-8s and 10-10s. 
The box performed pretty well. I wouldn't mind a third of the box, honestly. It did perform well. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to try Kindred. I think that if Kindred Kindred was Nasus, I think that we'd probably get some more wins. So I guess that's like maybe the big change is taking out Kindred, putting in Nasus instead. Yep, sometimes you just got to play the great cards, <laughs> you know. And Nasus is, uh, you know, the 4-4 body we saw like, you know, with Kindred dies to, dies to Black Spear, where Nasus is huge. Even without Atrocity, I don't think you have to play Atrocity just because you play Nasus. So that's probably the better version of this deck. But that was that was a fun one. That was a good one to play. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit the like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Zillion Kindred um, yourself. You know, Zillion Go Hard. If you, you know, what do you think about Nasus? What do you think about Black Spear? Um, you know, Sand Spinner. All those cards that I was talking about. Or if you got other ideas for other cards in here to help smooth the deck out, you know, le let me know in the comments. Of course, if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. Or if you try it out with just replacing Kindred with Nasus, I think that could also be great. And so let me know how that goes too. I'd be interested to hear what you all think of just replacing Kindred with Nasus with this list. All right, but that's going to be it here for Zillion Kindred. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.